Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Nisha Samra. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Counselors would like to invite freshmen, sophomore, and juniors' families to our second parent university of the school year. It will take place today from 6 to 7 p.m. The meeting will go over reviewing your transcript, the course selection timeline, AP classes and honors classes, and much more. The CU Athletic Department is looking for qualified candidates to serve as head coach for spring 2023 boys volleyball and the head of, and the head coach for girls in the fall 2023 season. If you are interested, email gtsmith at egusd.net. Now let's pass on over for Tad for wins and fails. Howdy doody y'all, I'm Tad Schell, these are your wins and fails. First, a failed Republican, George Santos, who appears to have a case of the LeBrons where he just can't stop lying. Turns out he violated campaign finance laws, which could result in some serious criminal prosecution and jail time. Some are saying he should stay in Congress since it was a fair election, some are saying he should be kicked from Congress, and most of us are still in awe knowing this man did drag for three years. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It just brings up the ethical question of, how much can you lie during your campaign? Next, we got to talk about Velma, who's getting a fat fail because it has the lowest score I've ever seen on IMDb. 1.3 stars. Jinkies. I'm still appalled that HBO put this on the front page of their streaming services. Luckily though, they released The Last of Us show around the same time, which has the highest score I've ever seen, with 9.4 stars after only two episodes. So a win to them. All I can say is that I hope this is the last of Velma. Finally, I failed to us, yes us, Gen Z, because more and more schools are banning TikTok from their school Wi-Fi. This is due to the threat of personal privacy and school data being leaked, because TikTok is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance, and it's a very real possibility that they could be stealing your information if you have it downloaded on a phone like this. I don't think CO has done this yet, but trust me, it's coming soon. Well, that's all I got, Wolfpack. Back to Nisha and Daniel. Thanks, Tad. The men's golf team is having an informational meeting today at s from 7 to, 7 to 8 p.m. in HJ2. This Thursday, we are going to be having a minimum day schedule. School will start at 8.30 and end at 1.05. Take a picture of the screen for the schedule. Auditions for the Spring Musical are this week, so make sure you fill out, fill out an audition application using the QR code on the screen or come to HV5 for tech application to be, part, to be a part of Rank the Musical. Thanks, glasses. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate your hard work. Thank you so much. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Nisha Samra. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Compliment, Compliment Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolfpack.